My name is Shari Simmons and I am one of the co-directors of Black Showgirls. I'm Eshwa Jovic and I'm one of the co-directors of Black Showgirls. Have you seen Showgirls? Well, it's like that, but it's bigger and blacker and better. <laughs> Black Showgirls is a story about a young woman who grows up assuming that she's Aboriginal. Uh, she has been led to believe through various circumstances in her life in the small, uh, racist, yet progressive town of Chidol. Chidol. Yeah, that's right. And, and it's just lovely being in a room, you know, full of mob that you kind of share the same kind of humour. And mm. so there's a lot of, you know, <laughs> laughter and a lot of jokes to be had. What is it like working on a Nakia Louis script? Look, first and foremost, it's fun. It's also kind of amazing for someone to have so much uh, comedy, mm. but the themes are really clear. Maybe mm. not to non-Indigenous audiences, but to black fellas, we are always really clear about what the conversation and mm -hmm. the, uh, the theme and the ideas and the questions being asked are. What would your black showgirl stage name be? What would... Letitia Lightskin. <laughs> Short black. <laughs> Griffin is, uh, I, I mean, everything it stands for for me, like I, what, I, what it means to me is a, uh, a home base and a, like a really, a, a nest for baby artists and emerging yes, artists. Yeah, yeah. And also a place though that you come back to consistently through your career if you're fortunate, fortunate enough to keep working mm. in theater. It's one of the most beautiful you know, theatre companies. I love the space. I've always mm. loved that space. I think the first show I ever did there was, uh, God, now I'm trying to remember. I just remember being pregnant during, but fake pregnant. Oh. And I had bald head. Oh. That's right, my head. I didn't have any hair. <laughs> really great choreography that has been choreographed by Sunny Ray, who was doing an incredible job at getting our actors to feel like showgirls. Everyone feels like a dancer. Even I joined in. <laughs> <laughs> Why people should come and see Black Showgirls? Mm. Um, very earnest response is, um, I guess, 2023, what a time to be alive as an Indigenous person in Australia, gearing up towards a huge referendum where everyone has to have an opinion and has to uh, give that opinion. So um, what better time to engage with Aboriginal people? I think people should just come and see it because it's, you know, immersing yourself in, in black comedy, black humour. It's very sombre, it's very dark, it's yeah. very bleak. Um, a lot of trauma. Mm, yeah, um, yeah, not again. <laughs> <laughs> the opposite <Psych>. of everything. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, it's, it's this! <laughs> it's this!